In the past week or so, you may have seen some clickbaity headlines claiming to report the discovery of two new planets in our solar system. They say things like, new planets found, and super Earth orbiting our sun. But you know us well enough by now to know that we're here to say, not so much, or at least, not so fast. These reports aren't hoaxes or internet rumors, they're actually based on real observations made by two teams of astronomers who think that they may have found two separate, previously unknown objects far beyond Neptune. But the astronomers themselves don't know for sure, and the papers in which they report their findings haven't been accepted for peer review or publication yet. And the astronomy community seems to be mostly skeptical, to say the least. But it is potentially exciting, so let's go over what we know. Both finds were made using the ALMA Observatory in Chile, which detects radio waves. In March 2014, one team of astronomers pointed the telescopes at a region of space near a star called W. Aquilae, and all seemed normal. Then, a month later, they looked again and noticed that one point of light had moved. When they took a third set of pictures in May, it wasn't visible anymore, possibly because it was just too dim at the time. Whatever it was, they decided to call it Nya, after a Nordic goddess. Then, in July 2014, a second group, which has one researcher in common with the first, an astronomer named Wouter Vlemings, was observing a different area, this time near Alpha Centauri, the star system that's closest to ours. And again, nothing seemed weird, until they took a second set of images in May 2015 and saw that one of the points of light was moving. They didn't give this one a name, though. In both in both cases, the authors ran the numbers and realized that the objects could be big, previously unknown planets in our solar system. But with just these two sets of observations, it's really hard to know what they're seeing. One possibility, and this is an important one, is that these points of light might not exist at all. They could be examples of the data glitches that sometimes show up when you're using sensitive instruments. But usually when these glitches happen, scientists can identify what's causing them. If that's what's going on here, the researchers can't figure out what's behind them. And according to an interview that Vlemings did with Scientific American, neither could any of the other astronomers who worked with ALMA when they were asked if they had any ideas. Now, even if they aren't glitches, that doesn't necessarily mean that what the astronomers found are planets. If they are actual physical objects in space, they could be any number of things, because all the astronomers really know is how bright they appear to be and how fast they're moving. From that, they've been able to calculate a range of distances for these objects, and the farther away they are, the bigger they'd have to be to look this bright. Which is why they could each be the size of a planet, or in the case of the one in the direction of Alpha Centauri, maybe even bigger. One option is that it's a brown dwarf a kind of failed star, three trillion kilometers away. On the other hand, they could be icy worlds that are much closer to us. Nya, for example, could be about the size of Neptune, but a hundred times farther away. Meanwhile, the other world could be a sort of super-Earth that's six times more distant than Pluto, or it could be super small and hanging out somewhere between Saturn and Uranus. Now, it's worth pointing out that Alma's field of view is so tiny that the odds of finding anything big by accident are infinitesimally small. There's a reason one of the papers has the phrase serendipitous discovery in the title, so what the researchers really need is more data to help narrow down the possibilities. And with plenty of offers now rolling in to take another look in those areas with different instruments, it sounds like they're gonna get it. But until then, we really can't say if anything's been discovered at all. All we can say with certainty is that clickbaity headlines are clickbaity. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow Space News, and thanks especially to our patrons on Patreon who chat with us in Google Hangouts, help us pick episode topics, and just inspire us. If you want to help us keep making episodes like this, you can go to patreon.com scishow, and don't forget to go to youtube.com slash scishowspace and subscribe. <laughs>